For more videos, press the subscribe button and also turn on the bell notification to receive the updates directly in your device. Hello friends, I am Vikas Nehra. Welcome you all to our live Linux training for members. This is session number 51 and in this session we will talk about the targeted policy in SE Linux and this would be our part 3 of ongoing SE Linux series. So without wasting time, let's get started. Targeted policy. Targeted policy is the default SE Linux policy used in Fedora based distributions. When using targeted policy, processes that are targeted run in a confined domain and processes that are not targeted run in an unconfined domain. For example, by default, logged in users run in the unconfined underscore T domain and system processes started by the init run in the unconfined underscore service underscore T domain. Both of these domains are unconfined. Unconfined domains as well as confined domains are subject to executable and writable memory checks. By default, subjects running in an unconfined domain cannot allocate writable memory and execute it. This reduces vulnerability to buffer overflow attacks. These memory checks are disabled by setting booleans which allow the SE Linux policy to be modified at runtime. Boolean configuration will be discussed later in our series. Now let's take the example of the confined processes. In this tutorial I will be explaining you the confined processes. Almost every service that listen on a network such as SSHD or HTTPD is confined in Fedora based distributions. Also most processes run as the root user and perform tasks for users such as password utility are confined. When a process is confined, it runs in its own domain such as the HTTPD process running in the HTTPD underscore T domain. If a confined process is compromised by an attacker, depending on the SE Linux policy configuration, an attacker's access to resources and the possible damage they can do is limited. Now I'm going to show you an example and I will show you how the confined processes run in their own domains. First we will confirm that the SE Linux is enabled and is running in the enforcing mode and that targeted policy is being used and the correct output should look like the below one. If you will execute the SE status command on the terminal, then it will show you that the SE Linux is enabled, the targeted policy is used and it is working in the enforcing mode. Now as a root user, we will create a file in the slash where slash www slash html directory. So we can use the touch command for that. Don't worry about it. I will show you the practical after completing this PPT. So this will create a test file in the where www html directory. Now we will run the following command to view the SE Linux context of the newly created file. So we can execute ls hyphen z and after that we can mention the path of the file that is slash where slash www slash html slash test file. So it will show us the label of this file as httpd underscore sys underscore contain underscore t. By default, Linux user run unconfined in Fedora based distributions and which is why the test file is labeled with the se Linux and confined underscore u user. rbac is used for the processes, not for the files. Roles do not have a meaning for files. The object underscore r role is a generic role used for the files. Under the 
slash proc directory files related to the processes may use system underscore r role the httpd underscore sys underscore content underscore t type allows the httpd process to access this file now the following example demonstrates how se linux prevents the apache httpd server from reading the files that are not correctly labeled such as intended for use by the samba so what we are going to do now we are going to start the httpd service after that we will confirm whether the service is running or not so we can execute the systemctl status command and we will verify whether the service is up and running fine so here you can see that the service is up and running fine after that <coughs> We will change to the directory where your SE Linux user has the right access to and run the following command. Unless there are changes to the default configuration, this command will succeed. So we will execute the wget command to download the test file. So we will write wget http colon double forward slash localhost slash test file. So this command will download this file locally on the directory from where we have executed the command. Now what we will do we will change the context of this file the chcon command relabels the file however such label changes do not survive with the system is relabeled for permanent changes that survive a file system relabel use the se manage utility which i will explain later so as a root user we can execute the following command to change the type to a type used by the samba so we can execute chcon hyphen t samba underscore share underscore t and after that we can mention the path of the same file that is slash where slash www slash html slash test file so it will change the label of this file now we will verify whether the changes have been implemented or not so we can execute ls hyphen z command for the file again and this time it will show us the label as samba underscore share underscore t for the same file note that the current discretionary access control permissions allow the httpd process access to the test file change to a directory where the user has the right access and run the following command now again we will execute the same wget command and we will try to download the file this time it will throw an error it will not allow us to download the file have a look at this it is showing the result as forbidden and why because this time the label is different and we are using the targeted policy and se linux is enabled so it is not providing us the access to download this file because it is having the label as samba underscore share underscore t and we are only supposed to download a file which is having the label as httpd underscore t label so this is the example of the confined process now as root we can remove the test file if we don't want it and in case if we don't need the httpd server running we can remove the packages of httpd also and we can stop the service as well by executing the systemctl stop httpd dot service command this example demonstrates the additional security added by se linux although discretionary access control rules allowed for the httpd process access to the test file in step 2 because the file was labeled with a type that the httpd process do not have access to se linux denied the access if the audit daemon is running an error similar to the following is logged to slash where slash log slash audit slash audit.log file and we can open this file to see the details you will get the information regarding this access and same you can see there in the slash where slash log slash httpd slash error underscore log file you if you will open this file you can get the information regarding the permission denied for this test file now i'm going to show you this on the terminal so let's go to the terminal and execute these commands 
first of all i will install the httpd packages from the local yum repository so i will execute dnf install hyphen y sttpd so this will install all the packages required for the sttpd server after that we will create a file in slash where slash www slash html directory with the name as test file now we will verify the se linux context of this file so we can execute ls hyphen z slash where slash www slash html slash test file here you can see that the label for this file is sttpd underscore sys underscore content underscore t now we can start the service so we can execute system ctl start sttpd dot service now we will verify that the service is up and running fine so we will execute system ctl status sttpd dot service here you can see that sttpd service is up and running fine now let's go to the tmp directory and try to download this file but before that let me verify whether the se linux is in the enforcing mode and is using the targeted policy so i can execute here se status command you can see that se linux is enabled the targeted policy is used and it is working in the enforcing mode now let's try to download this file by running the wget command wget http colon double forward slash local host slash test file and here it is we have successfully downloaded the file now what we will do we will change the label of this file so we will use ch con command ch con hyphen t to change the type after that we will mention the type so here we will uh, rename it to samba underscore share underscore t after that we will mention the path that is where slash where slash www slash html slash test file now we will verify that the label has been changed so we will execute ls hyphen z command for this file now you can see that the label has been changed to samba underscore share underscore t now again we will try to download this file so we will execute the wget command again this time it will show us an error here it is it is showing the access denied and 403 forbidden that means we are not able to download this file and why it is happening because se linux is preventing the access now we will verify with the help of logs so we can open the audit file so we can execute tail where log audit 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 dot log and here you will get the information regarding this here it is showing us the access is denied because of the different label and this information we can also get from the other file that is there in the where directory where log sttpd error underscore log file and here also we can get the same information now if i will make the se linux permissive in that case i can download the file so let's make the se linux as permissive so i can execute set enforce zero command and i will verify the same by running the get enforce command se linux is now permissive or we can execute the se status command here also it will show us the current mode as permissive now we will again try to download the same file so we will execute wget command for the same this time it will allow us 
because the SE Linux is permissive and we can verify the same here is the file so guys it shows that the processes run in their own domain and this was the example of the targeted policy used for the confined processes in the next session i will show you how the unconfined processes run in the unconfined domain in se linux hope you will find this tutorial useful for you if you like it then do share it with your friends and colleagues and if you are new on our channel then please subscribe us and turn on the bell notification i will see you in the next one till then bye bye jai hind vande mataram take care